Hi, this is Josh Olson, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. 20 years before Pat Ichavsky and Sidney Lumet gave us Network, one of America's other greatest screenwriters and other greatest directors combined forces to make a film that also prophetically warned us about the ways in which television will open the doors to demons. I'm talking about Bud Schulberg and Elia Kazan's A Face in the Crowd, and like Network, it's a movie that warned us of a very specific future when it came out, but plays like a documentary today. Once you've seen this film, you'll never look at Mayberry the same way again. <laughs> and that crazy laugh introduces us to the most compelling and disturbing character Andy Griffiths ever played in his career, Lonesome Roads. A Face in the Crowd was born from the observation Bud Schulberg and Elia Kazan and many others had made that TV was radically changing the world we live in. The two men had come together previously to do On the Waterfront, a film that was clearly born out of their feelings about having testified to the House Un-American Activities Committee. We only have about two and a half minutes to discuss this movie, so we're not going to go anywhere near that can of worms. But what's amazing about it is that it really did predict in some very specific ways what was going to happen in television and politics over the next few decades. Every time I see a candidate roll up his sleeves and drink a beer with regular folks, I flash back to Lonesome Rhodes' Cracker Barrel. Andy Griffith's character is a good old boy drifter, a guitar player and storyteller who's discovered by Patricia Neal, who gives him his own radio show, which segues into his own TV show. He starts out singing songs and telling corn pwned stories, but soon becomes a powerful national political player. The film predicts the ascendancy of so many phony populist entertainers over the years, the current incarnation of the beast Griffith plays being Glenn Beck and Rush Limbaugh, who thankfully has a face made for radio. So many great performances, Patricia Neal and a young Walter Matthau in one of his earliest roles, but the standout is of course the great Andy Griffith. He'd been a stand-up comedian and was appearing on Broadway in the light comedy No Time for Sergeants when Kazan cast him. Kazan pulled something out of Griffith that is terrifying and astonishing. Griffith has said that he became a very unpleasant person while he was doing this part, and you can believe it. Whatever he had to tap into to play Lonesome Roads is real, it's ugly, and it makes for a transcendent performance. Bud Schulberg had given up on Hollywood before he met Kazan. He was sickened by the way Hollywood treats writers, a situation that hasn't changed a whole lot in 50 years, and was going back to writing books. But Kazan was different. He was actually interested in collaborating with his writers, which he did with Schulberg. He worked hand in hand with him to develop the story, but treated him the whole time like he was a playwright. It was a radical approach and the results were on the waterfront and a face in the crowd, two of the greatest movies in American cinema. Face gets a little bit lost in the shadows of Waterfront, which is a shame because it's a monumental work. Every bit as important and as powerful as Network, which came 20 years later. In fact, those two would make a very powerful and very frightening double feature.